when you get shot five times, how was that motion for you? How was that experience? Do you know what? Like everybody that knows me knows, and the people that see me recover, the people that was around me through my convalescence will know that I'm not exaggerating. It was just par and parcel with life, mate. You know, it was just something that happened that I had to get over and get through and get on with. Like, and where did you get shot? Um, I got shot once, and I'll, I'll give you the picture as well. Picture yeah. I got, I got, so I got first shot. I got. I've turned up. <clears throat> right. I'll tell you the, the cover story for me getting shot. Okay. Right? So the cover story was basically a few a few couple of months before the shooting, right? I'm I've got a driver that I'm paying lumps of money. So we might have got maybe forty to seventy grand in the space of three, four months in wages, right? And he was getting busted up, partying, paying, I was paying all the bills, paying for everything. So he didn't have to pay for nothing. And then basically we were going around my mate's house one day and he's got a load of watches. So he said, Marv, you've got a load of watches here. Do you want any? Because I had all the APs and all the, um, what are they called? All the watches anyway. We had all the watches. And I said, no, I'm all right. I'm sweet. And, and the kid, the, the driver, Mark Ashman, said, can I have one? So I, I was like, my mate said, what? I said, yeah, he's squeezing up. I've got to give him medies anyway, so I'll pay you no matter what. So he was like, all right, sweet, not a problem. So the very next week, I ended up taking 300 grand worth of cars off some people, right? And then basically I paid him wages out of that, assuming that he'd gone and paid the bill for the watch. But he never. Anyway, cut a very long story short, my mates rang me up one day. I ain't being funny, I hate to ask Marv, but are you going to pay for that watch? What watch? He said, what's your pal took? I said, what pal? He said, your driver. I said, well, you ain't paid for that. That cheeky cunt. I said, see you, you miserable little cunt. I said, you need to take that fucking watch back, otherwise I'm going to come and punch your head in, mate. Yeah? Take the watch back or pay for it, or I'm going to punch your fucking head in, you little prick. What's it got to do with you? My head's gone. The fuck? Who are you talking to? What's it got to do with me, you cheeky cunt? My pal in my... You come to my pal's house, he give you a watch, and you ain't paid for it. What are you, a cunt? I said, where are you? I said, I pulled the noose. I said, I'll be down in a minute. So I'll come out the ass... I've got my little so-called nephew. Ash, hold that. I'll be back in a minute. I've given him my tool because I thought I'm going down the port. Don't make sense taking out. They're not getting it. I'm going to punch his fucking head in anyway. So I've turned up. As I've turned up, Mark Carpell's sitting there. Right? And I'm going to talk about these people because I can. Right? So Mark Carpell's sitting there. I said, what the fuck? I said, where's your mate? He said, he's gone. I said, where? He said, be back in a minute. I said, oh, is it like that? Yeah, sweet. He said, well, why don't you shoot off and I'll bring him up to the gym tomorrow? I said, no, as it happens, I'll wait here for him to come back, mate, because I ain't fucking shook or nothing. And whatever he's going to get, he can fucking use. And we'll see how fucking proper your power is. The little thing you don't know about your pal is I've been paying him for the last fucking seven months. Yeah, he's had over 100 grand off of me, the fucking squeak. Yeah, he ain't paid for fuck all. And he needs to pay for his watch. I was going to smash his fucking head in. He's like, what are you talking about? I said, what do you mean, what am I talking about? Do you know what this is over? So he said, no. So I've explained to him what he was over and he went at me, oh, do you know what, mate? Do yourself a favour, go home, and I'll bring him up to the gym tomorrow. I said, nah, bollocks. I don't give a fuck what he's going to get, mate. I'm going to wait here until he comes back and he can use what he's going to get. Simple. Obviously, I never believed he'd shoot me. I believed he'd have a knife, a bat. I didn't think he'd have a gun, right? So, we're sitting there talking. And I've seen him walking, walking towards us. He was outside Solly's diner in um, Port Venus. So I've seen him, I've jumped up. I said, come on, cunt, let's walk up here. Out of the way of all the public, right? So he's gone. So I said, what's that? I said, I've seen the gun. I said, yeah. I said, well, do what you come and fucking do, you mug. What? Because in my head, I'm thinking, right, just get close enough to grab it and you've done him. Do you know what I mean? I never believed he'd shoot me. And he shot me in the leg. Straight away, I've hit the deck because he just shattered into, I mean, I'll show you the x-rays. He just shattered into 200 pieces. Just gone, bang. So I've hit the deck straight away. And I thought, you cheeky cunt. I said, you better get on with your job, mate. Get on with your job. And then he's walked over and he's gone, Bang! Next one's hit me in the arm. I've hit the deck. And he's gone, bang! He's gone down my willy, shot my right testicle quiet. And I thought, well, this cunt's going to kill me. Don't say another word. Don't say another word. And then he's walked towards me and just walked over, put the one down, went one man in my forehead there. And then I've gone to the floor. I thought, this cunt trying to kill me. And as I've opened my eye, he went, bang! And the last one, look. Fucking hell, man. Yeah. Come straight out. Went wow. straight in there, boy. And that's what, what? A, lot of people, a lot of people don't realise that's not real. Fucking Do you know what I mean? hell. 
Yeah. So he shot me straight in the eyeball. Mm -hmm. And when you see the x-rays, you'll see the x-rays. Because they don't know what prevented that from going into my brain. Because it just, when you see the x-rays in a minute, you'll see. What will I do with that? So even though the bullets shattered your knee, shattered your arm, that one didn't go right through and fucking... No, I never done nothing. And I never, my femoral archery got punched in three places. Right, punched in three places. And I'll show you the scars. You can see it all because I've got mm -hmm. the, the photos and the x-rays. And I never bled. I never passed out. I rung my own ambulance. Do you understand? Like, and I was fully awake every step of the way. Like, it wasn't no... I never felt pain until they tried to move me. And when they tried to move me, that's when it really hurt. And this was in the middle of Port Abanus? Port Abanus, yeah. Outside Court and Glaze, outside Solly's Diner. 